when he couldn't run past people anymore with the ball, he said, I'm going to be the best goal scorer I can possibly be. Every time the ball comes into the box, I'm going to be in the right sort of areas. I'm going to work the defenders. He is the best I've seen in recent times at making runs for defenders, taking defenders away, and then finding the space in the box. Every time the ball went wide, you could tell the two centre-halves were having a major panic where Ronaldo was. And you have to admire him for changing his game so that he could stay on top of the world alongside Messi. You have to say Zidane... Did him a, a huge turn as well, didn't mm. he? I'm sure they discussed it, you know, however long ago it was, when he said, look, I, it's not good having you trying to be running up and back, yep. you know, covering full-backs and, you know, you know, getting forward. So we need to, we need to tailor your game. And, and both of them saw it. Uh, they did it brilliantly. And, and Benzema was coming off the bench and, and, support, and he had a great supporting act. But it's absolutely what you need as a player. When you get to that age, you've got to change your game. He's played... I mean, him and Messi play a hell of a lot of football. You don't hear much about, you know, red zones and lactic acid and, and, and resting uh, with these guys. These play all the time when fit. Uh, so, absolutely And fantastic. sometimes we're not fit, as we saw with Ronaldo in the last World Cup, when he didn't look, he looked as own. At that point, you say, he's over the hill. But he's proved to everybody that he's still a top-class player. He might have lost a step. Maybe not the same player that he was five years ago. Maybe doesn't have that speed. But the one thing that he's always had is personality mm. in this yeah. sort of moment. And belief in himself. Yeah, and belief in himself. And, and the fact that he puts the ball down and he in his mind is thinking, this is going to the back of the net. We're all thinking, man, we've seen this picture before. This is going right in this. Wouldn't it have been great if Guerrero, the left back, had just no, yeah, no and just chance. tried to bend no, it no, on the wall? <laughs> We're thinking he's going to hit this in the wall because yeah. we've seen it happen yeah. too. Perfection in the execution, and I just there is something about the personality trait of Cristiano Ronaldo to want to be the guy with the ball at his feet in a key moment. Not every player has that, and the, there are players that have that but don't quite have the game to match it up. He put those things together. Perfection. He couldn't wait for this to happen today. Yeah, he couldn't wait. It's such a big occasion for him. Playing Spain, all the headlines that they've had. He knows he's good enough. He's come off the back of the Champions League final where he was quiet. You got Gareth Bale scoring that fantastic goal, taking the headlines. Then we got all the nonsense with with Carius, uh, and then the arguments with, with Sergio Ramos. Yep. Then Firmino and all the Brazilians chip in, and nobody's talking really about Ronnie until this moment when he just says, "Hey, I'm back. I'm the man. Here you are. Hat trick to kick off the World Cup. Absolutely." And, and the reports of taxes and fines coming so, out of Spain here. Here are your taxes. Here are your fines. Have some of that. It's an interesting point, isn't it, that Craig brings up. And the fact we talk, Raph, a lot about Neymar and a lot about Messi going into this World Cup. Ronaldo didn't really come into the conversation that much. No, you're right. And I think that's because in the Champions League final, he didn't really feature. His thunder was stolen to a certain extent. And also this, uh, this Portugal, I think, looked like they almost found a way to not rely on him so much playing Andre Silva next to him, but of course tonight he was up there by himself and everything went through him. And I thought his pace and his transition game that he brought, that was quite something that surprised me because this is a guy, as we said, and as you said, who is not the quickest anymore, but he looked really, really sharp. And every time he ran at those Spanish defenders, you could see and you could feel something was going to happen. And I just wanted to make the quick point. This is a day, I think Ali alluded to it, this is a day that started with a suspended prison sentence and an 18.8 .8 million euro fine. Even if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, that's got to hurt and that's got to put you under some pressure, but you didn't see it on the pitch at all.